Many people are really worried about their online devices, such as the ring cameras, getting hacked by people and then watching them and listening to them. So I thought I would create this video to show you what is vulnerable and what's not and how to protect yourself. Specifically, we're going to talk about ring cameras, but this really applies to any online device that may be in your home or business. Let's take a look at a modern network. Let's say, for instance, you have a security camera, such as a ring camera, on your network. Is it vulnerable? Well, in certain ways it can be. So let's talk about the other devices that could make it vulnerable. You have a smartphone, you might have a tablet, you might have a laptop or a computer or a combination of all of these. And they're all connected to something. And it could be a wireless access point as well as a router slash firewall, which you get from your ISP, which is your internet service provider. So all of these devices can connect to the internet. Many of the wireless access points nowadays are actually connected to your router slash firewall. So this might just be one device or it might be separate devices. And all these devices are connected to wireless or hardwired in, and then they're connected to the internet. So where does our hacker come in? Well, our hacker can try to get through from the internet through your firewall, but let's see what happens. Since your firewall has all of its ports inbound being blocked by default, there's really no way for that hacker to get through there. So this is not the vulnerable point in which your network will allow hackers into your security camera or other devices. So how do they get through? Here's one way that they can get through. They can completely bypass the internet, firewall, router, Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff by compromising your login. So let's take for example, the ring login. So we see here that the hacker has gone and compromised the login at the web page, gone to the security camera directly, and bypassed your internal network as far as going through your firewall security. Your ring and other online devices go through a website. So they actually go outbound through your firewall where there is no security, out to the login web page at ring.com, for instance, and then they broadcast your video back to your smartphone or tablet. So I'm at Ring's website where I can create a login. Now I currently don't have a Ring camera, although I have set them up for family members and for other people. So I'm not that concerned about the security of Ring itself. And Ring even says that their security is not broken. We'll take a look at how hackers can get around that. So I've created my account. And now it wants me to create a password. And here's the first vulnerability that you can run into. We see a minimum of eight characters. You should use a lot more than eight characters. You should also use uh, different types of characters or a passphrase. I would recommend at least 15 characters total. So here I've typed in my password as just password with a capital P and a zero. And it's going to actually let me create that account using something so simple. And this is a way that hackers can get in. They can just use a lot of passwords that are very common, password 1234 and various other ones that are out there that everybody knows about. So instead, I'm going to get rid of this and use a much stronger password. Now I've created a password with many characters, with uppercase and lowercase, with numbers, uh, symbols, that kind of thing. We see that it's very strong. So I'll go ahead and create my account. Now, if I were a hacker and I could guess your password, then I would be in. So what could Ring do to increase security? Well, one way is it could require strong passwords, not just allow weak passwords and warn you about them. They could also add in security questions as a requirement rather than just as an option. And this isn't just true of Ring. This is true of a lot of these various different uh, online devices, sometimes referred to as Internet of Things. And this could be now your toaster, your refrigerator, your washer dryer. All these different things are going to be Internet connected. And unfortunately, security is not always the highest thing that's on the list uh, because a lot of these manufacturers, they want to make it easy for people to sign in. It also makes it easier for hackers to take over. Let's look at another way that hackers get in. So here we have hackers gaining access from your phone or tablet. Your phones and tablets connect to, uh, say, the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store or whatever it is that you're using. And a lot of times these applications 
are compromised. And once someone gains access to your smartphone and has administrator access over all your applications, it's simply easy enough to open up your Ring app or whatever else app you have and gain access to your online security camera or other device. So this is how you can protect yourself here. We noticed from the website you could create a much stronger password. But to protect your devices, there's a few things that you can do here, as I've typed out, such as you can review all your phone and tablet applications. You can easily go to all your applications, look at them, write them down, and then go online and check to see if there's any security risk by having those applications there. And if there are, you can go ahead and uninstall them. You can also add an antivirus or anti-malware software to your device. Apple doesn't allow many antivirus programs to be installed onto their device, but they have a closed system which does a little better job of checking applications. There's still a lot of compromised ones out there, just not as many as there are on Android. So if you have an Android device, definitely get a good anti-malware program. Don't add new applications without checking the security first. So if you're about to add an application, do a quick Google search, check out to see what the security risks may be. And if you're really concerned, go to a computer professional and get a checkup. Let them check out for maybe 50 or or $100 to see uh, if your device is compromised in any way. Once again, this can bypass all of your security in your router and firewall or your wireless access point. And another way we can have our security compromised and hackers can gain access to your ring camera or other device is the Wi-Fi. When you get your wireless access point either from your internet provider or if you buy one on your own, a lot of times they will let you set up security that's not optimal. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you set up AES and encryption. That's an option when you go to set up the security on your wireless access point. If you're unsure, again, hire a professional to come in. It won't cost that much, maybe one to $200, and they can make sure that you have the highest security set to your wireless access point so your Wi-Fi cannot be disabled or compromised. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Service, and at this point, it's considered unbreakable, so if you have a really strong password to go with that, then you should be fine from anybody hacking into your network. And they can not only access your security cameras, but any one of your devices are vulnerable if your Wi-Fi is compromised. So now you can see how hackers can gain access even if you have a firewall on the inside of your network protecting your devices. They can completely bypass all those things using the procedures that I just gave you. So have strong passwords, use secure wireless, and do reviews on any applications or devices that you're installing. Thanks very much.